everyone. This is a foam rolling class. We're gonna get started on our back. So bring your roller right under your shoulder blades. You can hold your hair up if you have long hair. You don't want it tucked under that roller. And so start to just roll right underneath those shoulder blades. And you can see my shirt's starting to get tucked under there too. So if you have loose clothing, you might need to change into more tight fitted clothing. And we're just gonna start rolling out the back body. So this feels so, so good. If it doesn't feel good, your roller might not be hard enough or it might be too soft. So making sure that you have a roller that works for your body. I've been teaching this class for probably three years now. So I've worked up to this black roller. I had the green one before. Uh, the company we order from is um, Spree, S-P-R-I. So if you're looking to purchase one, that's a good place to start. All right, we're just gonna start rolling all the way up to the neck, all the way down to the low back. Yeah, so full back massage. Oh, it feels so good. And then when you're ready, you're gonna roll over to one side. So I'm on my left side, you can be on either side. And you're just gonna start to roll your latissimus dorsi muscle. I'm gonna kind of work to the lateral side of that shoulder blade, making this zigzag movement. And so working through those tight tissues, using your breath to help work through your body here. And this is a great thing to do to prevent soreness, injury even. Um, just a great overall massage practice when you don't have time or money to go see a practitioner. This is a great way to help your body to release some tension. All right, so we're gonna take that elbow up and over the roller, push the back of the shoulder into the roller, and you're just gonna do some little mini rolls back and forth, and then roll more to your side, so medial deltoid. And again, this is a shorter practice. I normally teach an hour, and so we spend a lot more time in these areas. We're gonna to transition to the front of the shoulder, so reach your arm up and over, and start to roll toward your belly. Reach your left arm out and just start to roll ooh, to the armpit. I'm really feeling this today. You can straighten out your arm, bend your arm. You can even let your chin rest on the roller making this as effortless for the rest of the body as possible. And take one more breath. Good job and release. So normally I would do some shoulder stretches here, you know, across the chest, up and over. But for the sake of time, we're just gonna switch to the other side. So start to roll the lap on the other side. I like to lift my hips for this. You could just keep your hips down and just do micro rolls and then scoot your butt, you know, down more or up more. And I'm just kind of testing the water, so to speak. So just kind of seeing what this side of the body needs, where I need to focus my energy. That other side, interesting and interestingly enough, is usually my looser side and it was tighter. So it just depends on the day, what acti activities you've been doing. All right, so we're gonna go to that lateral side of the shoulder blade and start to roll towards the chest, towards that shoulder crease and back. Yes, yeah, so just work through that whole shoulder girdle area, breathing. And then we'll go to the posterior deltoid. Take your elbow up and over and start to push the back of the arm into the roller. We'll go medial deltoid, so roll more over to your side. And then anterior delt, so lean back, elbow up and over, straighten your bottom leg, start to roll towards your belly, and then use your arm like a sundial. So try out a bent elbow, and then just keep moving that dial, and even rotate your thumb down and up towards the ceiling. And you can even rest your chin here, make sure your neck's not holding any tension. Good job, keep breathing. So good. 
And same thing here, come up normally in class and hold this a little bit longer, but just a shoulder stretch there, a tricep stretch here, and then we're gonna go to glutes. So have a seat on top of your roller. You're gonna lean back a little bit, go to your right glute, back and forth. If you need a little bit more, then cross your leg over. Breathing, kind of zigzagging towards the side of the hip. And then let's switch it to, to the other side. So start rolling, and then if you need more, cross the leg over. Good, lengthening out your breath. Awesome, and then let's go to hamstrings. So sit down and then lift, push into the roller back and forth, right under the glutes towards the backs of the knees. You're doing great. Hold yourself up. If your wrists get tired, I'm on knuckle pads. You can come to fists, try something different. Awesome. All right, let's go to calves. So bring the roller kind of mid lower leg and then cross one leg over. You could make this easy and just roll like this, just back and forth. But if you need more, one leg at a time, lift up, push into that leg. That'll give you obviously more sensation. So if it's too much, go back to that other option, other side. And I like to go all the way to the Achilles and make sure that you're not rolling at the tendons right here. I've done that before and it hurts quite a bit and it hurt for weeks. So don't want you to experience that. All right, we're going to quad. So pull that roller all the way back and then help yourself on top of the roller. You're in a plank position and you're just rolling back and forth, keeping your abdominals engaged. And then you can change the position of your legs. You could bring your heels in, make a diamond shape. You could rotate, roll to one side or roll to the other side. You could have your knees in, heels out. So lots of options there. Good job. And I would normally stay here for quite a while. So if you um, are wanting to do more, you can pause this video. And then of course, why people get a roller most of the time is for that IT band. I'm gonna start at the top though, get the, the tensor fascia latte and the glute mead because that's where we wanna start rolling for the IT band way at the top of the hip crest is where those muscles start and then they come down become the it band and attach to the upper tibia so i'm going to do a zigzag motion right above this hip bone i'm going to go back and forth yep just like that and then if that's feeling pretty good i'll go to the it band if it's really tight there i'll stay up there for a little while so of course it band about mid leg here now if i want it easier i'm going to come up here a little more intense come down to a forearm Quite intense, stack your legs. Yeah, and I'm moving towards my quads, towards my hamstrings. Yeah, listening to your body. If it's too much, make a modification. Perfect, and then we'll swing it over to the other side. Again, if you need more time on that side, pause the video, join me on the other side when you're ready. All right, so I'm gonna work the top all the way. So the hip crest is pretty high, all the way up to the waistline, right? So we're gonna do that zigzag, glute mead, cross, and go into the tensor fascia latte. Yeah, TFL. And back and forth a few times. It's feeling pretty good today for me, so I'm gonna start to go to that IT band. Again, if it's pretty tight, stay on up there. Don't come down until those muscles start to release. And then you've got all those op options you can hold. What I like about this is you can lift yourself up a little bit more if it's too intense. I usually end up here most of the time. Um, this is the most intense. I don't usually need that much intensity. Um, so that medium option is best for me. Choose your option, take a few more rolls. If you need to stay here longer, I totally recommend taking the time to do that. And then I always end the practice with a Shavasana, rolling back, taking the roller under the knees and lying all the way to the floor. So when you're ready, 
take a few moments to just relax and let go. And so remembering that with this practice, it's a good way to help move toxicity out of your body. So drink lots of water and have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.